welcome back to another by Candace Jones production. If you are new to my channel, my name is Candace, formerly known as Diamond Candy. And if you are a returning loyal subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in again. You are a real one. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I get my signature slick bun and let you guys in on some tips some tricks to tell you what you've been doing wrong while your hair not getting as slick as it could be because along the way on this slick bun journey i've just gotten better and better so i thought i'd share what i've learned now i know a lot of y'all might remember that i was kind of like you know chilling on these slick back hairstyles because over time my curl pattern in the front where it gets the slickest gets a little you know it start acting real funny when I start slicking it too much so just beware that depending on your hair type how often you do it that it could alter your curl pattern it could stretch it out a little bit so ear on the side of caution um but besides that um let's get into it Oh yeah, and I know I'm going to get questions about these queen earrings. They are from this black owned business called Shop Accessorize. I will leave the link in the description box. Make sure you guys check them out. I have some other stuff from them. So, so, so cute. So make sure you visit the link down in the description box. So this is what my hair is looking like beforehand. Real raggedy, real rough. But I'm going to take it down and go wash it. Get it nice and clean. So my hair is washed now i'm gonna go in with this as i am pomegranate and passion fruit curl enhancing smoothie and you want to go in with a lot like a whole lot the first mistake people make is trying to slick with only gel but when you have a lot of conditioner in your hair it really makes it so much easier so i'm putting a whole bunch in there as you can see and then brushing it through with a dimming brush people you can't just take a soft brush and try and brush over those tangles you got to go through make sure the hair is nice and flat adding water if you need so and yeah so now i'm just gonna part my hair i do like a little swoop side part like so like that and then i'm gonna go in with the gel i'm using this eco styler um argan oil gel i usually use the olive oil one is much better but this is all i had and you want to part your hair and add gel to every section like you want to get inside of the ponytail it's not enough just to put the gel on top you need to go inside to make sure that everything lays nice and flat so that's what i'm doing it might be a lot of gel for some people but that's how i get my slickest pony now i go in with the soft brush and smooth everything out and your arms gonna be hurting sis like they're gonna hurt and this is a lot of work for just a slick pony but it really makes all the difference so go ahead and smooth your little heart out get your arm workout in and let's get this slick All right, to tie my hair, I'm using a headband. It's much, much, much better than using a hair tie because you can get it much tighter. So I wrap it around my wrist twice and then go ahead and tie my hair up. You can make it as tight or as loose as you want to. As you know, I like mine nice and tight, so this is what we have. And I'm just smoothing it down some more, and this is going to be rough draft number one of this ponytail. And for my bun part, I twist it into just a twist and wrap it around that gives you a nice full looking bun and not you know small baby flat bun because that's not the vibe we're going for and like i said this is a rough draft so i'm just gonna go in with a little bit extra gel and pull my edges out and kind of frame them where i want them more or less you know nothing too serious because this is the first draft then you put that bad boy up under the microwave aka your scarf and do your makeup do what you have to do and once you come back you have something like this it's all right but we could do better so we're gonna go in with some edge control you pick your fighter whichever edge control works best for you these are my top three and i'm gonna go in with edge control on my toothbrush edge control works much better on hair that is dry so that's why i do this step after so i let my hair dry a little bit because it really really works so 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 much better and once the edges are done, I'm just going to take the ponytail out really quick and just retighten it, get everything nice and smooth. And if you're feeling a little extra, you can go ahead and add some hold spray. This is the got to be free spray. Spray that on top and put it up under the microwave one more time. Just one last time. It's a lot of work, I know, but it's worth it. Like I said, this is optional, but these were my final results. Real flat, real cute, serving you cute auntie vibes. Alright y'all, so I hope you learn 
something new in today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up that really helps my channel a lot and also comment down below let me know how you feel tell me something let's talk and also make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because um yeah i don't know what to say i don't know i post on youtube every wednesday and sunday so i'll see you guys in my next video bye